All right, everybody. I hope you're ready for some sweet testing of the shotguns. I'm ready also in a second. All right. Good. <clears throat> Seven, six, five, four, three. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the next live stream here in War Robots with the new shotgun nerf that I want to test with you, okay? Um, yeah, lots of you are already here. Let's get it going here. We have, um, you, let me just give you a quick overview about the hangar. We have a shotgun uh, phantom. This thing used to dominate everything with these shotguns. Let's see how it does now. Um, we're gonna test. Then we have a shotgun, energy shotgun Cerberus, right? That could be super powerful if the shotguns are still working. Then we have one atomizer leech in the in between, just to see the other thing around, right? In the direct comparison. And then we have uh, the, um, the Corona, again, leech direct comparison and the Corona. Uh, Spectre. If we're getting bored with the shotguns later, we might switch over to other things. But for now, this seems pretty good. Let's jump into... S oh yeah, on the Titan, I equipped it with uh, Tsar and machine guns again. No more the lasers because we've used them for a while. Let's use something else on it. And uh, yeah, jump into Beacon Rush. Hopefully you guys are in a gr good mood. Uh, the godlike sunglasses are back, that's right. Uh, today I'm wearing them because I have been recording video content today for a while. So for many hours, this light, this super bright um, a spotlight is shining in my eyes while I have to keep my eyes open at the same time at the screen. And eventually, after a couple of hours, it will get you a little bit of a headache. Um, so that's why I kind of need the sunglasses today. <laughs> it's actually more than just an optional thing today. Um, but yeah, look how quickly those shotguns run out and the, as you know, the, the reason for for this video here is testing the shotguns now. So the other the other robot went away, but he's now coming back. Here he is. And we can do a ton of damage for a short time, but then, you know, we will run out of damage output because the weapons will be reloading. So the guy is above us right now. He's probably taking some damage. Look at this guy. Woo! What nice jump there, dude. I, I thought for a second he was gonna jump past past everything. Okay, he's gone. This guy actually went through and it's he is capturing our beacons at this moment. Wow. That's crazy, dude. He actually got it. He actually got our beacon. But you know what? I'm capturing it back right away. Turning it back. But of course, we're going to lose the other beacon in the meantime. Damn it! What can I do? Hi, dude. Not a bad spot to jump at. So no matter where I go, I'm always going to lose a beacon. And no, our buddy just fell down. Yup, our buddy just fell. The others didn't fall, just our buddy fell. And look how he's playing the Phantom now. He's playing it with the, uh... With the energy l uh, laser, um... Scourge, basically, and... Uh, spark, which is not a bad idea considering that shotguns do not work as well as they used to, right? So maybe it's a good idea to jump into something that uh, that is a little bit more uh, up to date now. And yo, this could be. Aha! He just dropped his resistance. There it is, it's gone. And death time. Yo, so the shotguns, they're still dealing a lot of damage if you get close, they're not worthless now. Come on, run over, take that beacon. Uh, but they have lost a lot of what made them what they are. And in case you didn't know, um, I was never really the biggest fan of the shotguns. I mean, most people knew that I wasn't really the big shotgun fan, because in my opinion, too, it was so... There was no alternative. Everybody was running shotguns and nothing but shotguns, because they were so incredibly powerful at doing that, right? Now, the thing is... Um, the reason why I didn't I dislike shotguns for is is that they had this uh, insane reach of 500 meters range. That is what I never liked about them, uh, because this way they became so universal that everyone would basically now run shotguns and nothing but shotguns because they're just so good, right? Uh oh. Um, and what's happening now is that basically, let's teleport back away from him. Um, if in, in my opinion, it would have been enough. If they had just removed the range a little bit. I just dialed down the range a little bit. 
Uh, and that's it. Maybe the spread a bit more and the range a bit less, and then the shotguns would have probably been fine, I think, right? Um, but look how fast I can kill this Spectre still. But then my ammo is empty, so I'm, I'm drawn. In, in one side, it's, uh, it's like, okay, I can understand why. Am I capturing their- look, I'm capturing their beacon and they don't even notice it. Dude, they don't even notice it. I'm capping their beacons from right underneath their nose. Oh, now one guy has noticed. Look, he's like, wait a minute. What the heck? That is funny. Dude, that's funny. <laughs> he's like, what the heck, man? We barely lost this. We barely left the beacon and he's already captured it. Yep. That's how it goes, man. So let's switch into a, whoa, into a tanky thing. And, uh, and just brawl them away with the four Coronas here. Okay, we can do this. Every time we shoot, he's losing a decent amount of health. But at the same time, look how long it takes us to just fire again. And previously, a leech robot with those shotguns would just bam, 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 and this guy would be done, right? That's how it used to be. So I'm running in there. This looks still the same, pretty much. I'm leeching him too. Uh oh, he noticed that I stopped leeching. That was a decent spawn that he had. He spawned basically directly at me. Alright, we're dropping him down to low HP and uh, the match is already over. So, first match. Um, and uh, I know that a lot of people are really upset about the shotgun nerf and as I said, I can understand it. In my opinion, it would have been enough to just get a bit of- uh, lose a bit range and then get a bit more spread. And would have probably been enough. Um, and now the atomizer came as a replacement weapon, and in my opinion, makes it even worse as before. And that is that's the kind of the problem that I see here. What I don't like about it. Um, if the atomizer would be well within what the other shotguns do now, if they would be on pair, then it would be a perfectly a perfect balancing situation. But bringing another weapon at the same update that basically does the same thing that the others did before. That's a problem in my opinion. So we had a few donations. Manny, run the thunder also. The thunder, oh man, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a different story with the thunder, man. Andri, Balku, sorry dude. I, I'm, I'm, I would like to focus on the weapons that everybody has been using before, you know? And the thunder is not necessarily one of those. Actually, it's like quite the opposite. No one was actually running the thunder. He's got 350 meters range. I have done quite a bit of damage to him there for a bit. I need to bring him down to last stand. Nice, it worked. He's already down to last stand now. I'm saving HP. Uh, he's flying now. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we also had Nilim Matra Maitra with a, a super chat message. And then Bailey put Camry. Hey, Bailey, I remember you, man. You were there last, last week as well. Last week's live stream, you were there as well. I remember your name, buddy. Nice, cool. He's got a long range, uh, a long range Ares. Okay, I'm coming out here. I'm trying to get to him here before he gets another jump and uh, another, um, another ability here. Boom! Gotcha, dude! <laughs> Didn't think I was gonna outplay you, huh, with the shotguns. Yeah, he thought that was gonna be it for me. But man, I got him good. Uh-oh. Oh, he's bringing my last stand down now. That was a nice jump, buddy. Nice jump, sir. I'm activated stealth while falling. This way I get my stealth shorter, but at the same time... Base shifting to be able to get that beacon for a second here. Uh, I wasn't able to turn it around completely, but I made it white. Uh, at least I made it white. That could already be an advantage. All right, let's use a Cerberus here. Uh, Bailey put Kimari. Cool. Nice to see you back, sir. I got him locked and I killed him. Nice. So Corona here and... Oh, that was also a Cerberus. Cool. 
Oh no, I just wasted my shot. I, wa I ma fired it against the wall. But he also wasted his stealth flight. Didn't work at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. So he's now suppressed and locked. He can barely do a dent into my shield. It's regenerating faster than the damage he does. Oh, that guy's dead. Come on, I don't care about your last stand. Come on, uh, your thing. You know what? I'm adding corrosion to you. Boom, let the corrosion deal with it. That's right. That's how we do it in the Manny Town. And pew! Did you see that? I got him, dude. I got him while falling down. That was so cool. I'm trying to get him locked, but unfortunately that didn't work. But I I unlocked his uh, his his face shift before. Or not the face shift, uh, the um, the other ability that he has. It's gone. Now he lost his targeting, or he should lose it. Boom! Don't mess with the Cerberus, buddy! <laughs> oh, hello, you're back, huh? Alright, let's make him use his... See? He has, again, he has last... No, what is it called? The anti-control. He's got anti-control. And I made him use his anti-control again. I hit him again as he came out. And, um... Boom. Now he's... This time he's locked. See that? Look how I'm killing the second... The second leech robot in a few seconds here. Boom, there he goes. Another leech robot bit the farm. And I locked this this specter and uh, added some corrosion to him. He immediately stealth jumped. Look, th look at this. That is a sh that is that is a Cerberus here. And boop, that's the same player again. This time he is locked. But he is flying now. Okay. We have all five beacons, so I guess we're good. Oh, wait a minute. He's coming over now. And boop. You're suppressed and you're locked, sir. Yep, I'm getting killed, though. No, I'm not. Haha! -ha! <laughs> I survived. Oh, we have more donations coming in from Andre Balku. Oh, no, that's the same that I read before. Uh, fa oh, Farbuti. Farbuti, I also remember you from last week. Hey, Manny, love your streams. I like... Uh, it's like a bar online, uh, a bar, like a bar online for me. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, far booty I, or body. I also remember your name from last week. Thank you guys for sticking with me. It really means a lot for me, guys. Or to me. Love your streams, Manny. Also, Jen, uh, who says it? Jan uh, Omarod, Omarod, from the stream chat. Much appreciated, sir. Jumping into some team deathmatch. Um, we're still, we're going to test the uh, shotguns really, really well here. I must say, so far, I've been doing quite well with the shotguns. Uh, what, the, the, you notice the difference of the shotguns when you fight robots like Fenrir, Bulwark, Titans, you know, these kind of robots. This is where you notice the big difference now. But there you have to ask, maybe it's supposed to be so that a Titan, a Fenrir, or Bulwark, you know, can't be killed so fast. Maybe it's good that way, but if it, but, but if that is the argument, why does Atomizer do what I'm about to show you now, right? If the argument was to say, okay, this weapon has dealt too much damage, we need to dial it back a little. Um, then the question is, why is Atomizer not falling under the same rules now? Okay, he's there. Okay. I'm not shooting this guy. There's no reason in it. But this guy I can. But now he also activated the leeching. This guy lost his leeching and our leech can take him down. In the meantime, I'm taking down everything that is firing at us from range. And yeah, the leech is done. Nice. Uh-oh, another leech right there. And he has been- he is leeching. He is leeching us right now, so I have to run in and take damage. And the more damage I take... Okay, somehow I was unable to do damage to him there. I'm still alive and I still have the last stand, so... Look, look what this Atomizer is doing, right? I'm just showing this as a comparison now to show you we haven't even lost one person yet. 
we have not even lost one guy to enemy fire. Uh oh, he's going for me, isn't he? Yep, he's doing it. Nice. Perfect hit. Roadrunner, that was a very good shot, dude. I have to say, congrats on that one, man. That was so perfect. I was just landing and didn't have anywhere to go right there. And here comes this firepower from his. Okay, now we're gonna get killed. This guy turns too slowly with his old rhino. And look what we are doing here to this guy. Just to show you, right? This is just one setup here. That was just one setup. Atomizer. So again, if, if the argument is, okay, the uh, shotguns were too strong and they needed to lose their damn DPS. I agree. I can, I can relate to that. Mm, but then I wonder why is Atomizer, uh, you know, not, not in the same category of, of nerf. So this guy is going to get absolutely super killed. Boom. Yeah, I've, it's been a while since I last ran these, uh, these big boom rockets here. So he's flying now, but he shouldn't be able to actually hit me up here. Look, he's trying though. He's trying to come up here and hit me. And boom. There you go, dude. Oh, there's a phantom. Okay, phantom is done. Let's drain that shield first and then hit the rocket launcher. Boom. Aha. Nice, nice. Here comes another, uh, another, what's it called here? Uh, another Aochon. That's the next thing, the Titans. Let's say, let's say the, the energy shotguns were too strong. <laughs> How do we justify plus 727% damage output in, uh, in the, in the modules for, um, for the Titan upgrades, right? How does that make sense? Yep, the Arthur Titan. I'm going to completely ignore that Arthur's physical shield here. I don't care about it at all. I didn't hit him because I was tur as I turned, I fired. So let's land for a bit. And boom. 25 to 3 is the result of this match. 25 to 3. Jesus. 1050, 1060 people. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, seems like you guys are also interested to see what the shot, what has become of the shotguns. And we did have a few more donations. Nope, we didn't. No, nope, I didn't. Uh, I only sa saw something there. Um, yeah. All right. So um, we did three million something damage, 16 kills. That is not not too shady. Jumping into Beacon Rush. Uh, game server. Hey, Manny, I love your live streams. You have to earn your respect by subscribing. <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Uh, much appreciated. So, I I'm not sure if I understood this correctly. Um, you, you, who earns whose who's respect? Uh, oh, AD Gaming is also here. Hey, buddy. How are you, man? Okay, let's go all the way over here, capture this beacon, and then try and fight these two, uh, these two phantoms that are coming around the corner. Okay, he's already using his built-in weapons. I'm trying to get them locked and suppressed immediately. And it worked. My shoot is gone, so I'm gonna retreat for a bit. And then, boom. Suppression and lockdown. That's right. Boom. Problem is, they can already respawn here. I'm slowed down. Okay, I'm standing around the corner, waiting it out here. He is leeching already. I'm gonna face shift a little bit through that. And then, trying to lock him and suppress him at the same time. And after his ability is gone, kill him. 
That's how it works in the Manny Town, as you know, guys. There is another leech coming in. He's already... I already made him leech. There's two leeches, actually. Maybe I can hurt them both pretty hard. This guy started leeching first. This guy started leeching second. And then I'm dead. But I got them down to last stand. I've been fighting very hard for this beacon with this... Oh, I already have the Titan, dude. I already have the Titan. How the heck is that possible? How do I have the Titan so fast? That's insane. Oh no, that's bad. Now I reinforce his weapon firepower. Boom! <laughs> oh, man. Dude, this is so this is so ridiculous. Let's bring down his shield first and then boom afterwards with the rockets. And there's a leech robot that wants to be brought down to his last stand. Oh, there's an important target. There is a... Um, a Titan. An Arthur. And while I'm reloading the small weapons anyways, may as well just come in and... Um, and get all the uh, the time for reloading as I want. And here spawns... Okay, there we go. Now, time for this dude to go. Bringing down the shield first and then the booms. That's the best way to do it, by the way. First, destroy the shield and then send the actual firepower towards the enemy. That's how you do it in the best course, uh, in the best way. Oh, a, 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 a phantom, uh, no, uh, a falcon spawned in. The falcon is our job because we bypass the resistance on the falcon. And I can actually double splash in there. See, I I'm focusing the Falcon, but I'm killing the Titan too. Everything that has resistance is your job with a Titan. Because you have this this, espe this special extra damage against... Um, uh, against everything that has resistance. Look how you can just turn around like a freaking uh, fidget spinner and just absolutely wreck havoc on everybody spawning in. Now the machine guns are back reloaded. Look what that means to this poor titan down there. Okay. Is that the only guy now? No. Okay, there's more. But he is flying now. He's going to land any moment though. There it is. He landed and boom. Another leech is coming in. Leeches, again, are my job because they have resistance. And resistance needs to be countered by resi anti-resistant weapons. Another leech? No leech this time. Boom. Yep, that guy didn't have his shield up a second ago. Seems like I'm not getting him. Now they lost their shielding. Jesus, dude. This is so insane. And we still have more than 60% HP. Like, that's the craziest thing. We've, we've just eliminated the entire enemy team. And we still have like 60% or more of HP. Again, this is uh, Pixonic. I can't, I can't say enough. Please rethink the modules for Titans. Please be so good and, and reconsider. 27% more strength per module is too much of a difference in power. And um, I've just, I guess this, this video right here was the perfect proof for that. 5 point something million damage. And enemies d just couldn't even do anything against this thing. Um, make it 10 or 11%. Make it only upgradable to level 10. That would be 11% more power. Um, with the module per module, that's good enough for a big titan. Please, Pixel, consider this. All right. <clears throat> hey, man, you're awesome. Thank you, Brittany Parks. You're awesome too. Because without you guys tuning in, I could I, I could 
be as cool streaming as I wanted. There was no wouldn't, wouldn't be anyone appreciating it. So thanks, guys. 1,200 people watching. Really happy with you guys here. Uh, let's start with a Phantom again. Run in and then use the uh, the Spectre maybe with the shotguns, right? I haven't really used that much. And I'm waiting for the moment to activate the um, the sprint ability here. I'm doing it now. Running in faster to cap this beacon. There's a leech robot trying it to counter me, but I think he's actually given up. I think he's given up because he just wasted his ability here. And he oh, oh man, he, it's it's a it's a blitz robot with with a thing. That's a problem, man. Sorry, dude. He got he got no chance with these weapons. Those are those weapons have no chance against a shotgun setup. Even even the nerf shotguns. Oh, he just dropped his resistance. Hold on a second. He dropped his resistance. I want him now. Because right now I can do triple the amount of damage that I could normally do. And, uh, uh oh. And this guy. No, he is running his shield now. I thought he had his shield already used. Let's go for him. Oh, he dropped his resistance again. Sweet. Okay, I'm taking damage too now. But he is supposed to be dead now. Come on, please. Yep. Got it. Oh, no, a Leo. Oh, Leos are so tanky. Oh, no, no, even more tanky now. I can't win this. I can't win. No, what? No way. I have to walk away from this. And I think there's even a Mercury jumping in. Thank goodness I walked away from that. <laughs> I'm making use of the mobility of this thing. <laughs> You know what? We could just go and cap these guys from behind. Let's go and do this. Let's cap them. Look at the fan look at this falcon trying to get me. Oh, he brought up his shield. That sucks. Oh no. No! Nah! Why are you here now? No! I'm I'm going back away. Ha <laughs> ha! This is so good, man. I love it. This is just this is what makes this robot what it is. The fact that you are so fast and you control them everywhere. Look at that poor Phantom. A uh, Falcon, sorry. That Falcon is trying to get me for so long now. And he just lost his leech ability. That's good. Okay. And uh, there you go, buddy. Come on. Die already. There you go. That's right. Is the Fel Falcon still following me? I'm making it super hard for him to hit me here. And now I'm dead. Wow, just one robot. All right, let's use the shot uh, the Spectre with the shotguns as I said before, I would. Okay, and in order to not die. Oh, what? Come on, dude. That's not even that doesn't help you. You're still going to die. That was a worthless attempt. All right, let's get him hard here. Boom, boom. Face shifting through his landing. Oh, there's an Ares. Is that the Ares from before? Yeah, it is. It's the same Ares from before. Oh my god, and he's getting another shield. I'm. You know what? I'm going to let him live. I'm going to let him live. No! No, 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 no. Please don't spawn in. Please don't spawn in. No, he did spawn in. I'm, I'm, I'm a pro. I'm in trouble now. Ah, uh, come on! <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. Why was I so slow? Did you see how slow I was? It's like no movement at all. Did he, does he see me? Oh, he does see me. And nice, he activated his ability. That's good. That means next time we meet. His ability is going to be used. I already lost a weapon. Unreal, dude. I'm trying to land in the beacon here. What was I taking damage by? Trying to walk in safety here and capping this beacon. Yep, I got it. What do you do now, buddy? You're trying to cap it back. But I have something against this. It's called Atomizer. It means never stopping. It means unlimited firepower. 
the one good thing for the atomizer is that you have to aim well. You have to do a good job at aiming at the enemy. If you don't aim well, you're not going to benefit at all from uh, from the uh, from the weapon's firepower and theory theoretical firepower. So I'm back at leeching. Okay, we have a powerful setup right there. I have to hide. It's an Ao Ming. I have to get my thing back, my rockets. Well, actually, he does have the rocket explosions. So without the uh, rockets, even with my ability, he's probably going to get me hard here. I think he just missed me, right? If I could survive these two rocket shots. Yes, I did. Nice. Come on. Yeah. Boom. Oh man, I'm almost done for. Time to spawn here. Okay. Let's go for him up there. And in the meantime, try and catch the Ares. Uh, sorry, the, um, the Haichi. Yeah, the damage output is still really high, but it's... Come on, give me the other dude. Give me the other dude. There it is. Good. Alright, so... I guess this was a very interesting match. Let's get him locked so he can't get away. So that the other dude with the flamethrower hits very well. And as I walk closer to him, I'm reloading my weapon so that once I arrive, I'm fully loaded and I can really hit him hard here. Look at this. Now I can... Did you see that? I just dropped him by 50% immediately. Because I was saving my firepower as I was getting closer to him. It's really useful to, um, to no longer fire at long range when you have the option to just re use the time to regenerate your weapons and then get close and then hammer in. So I think we've just completely carried that match. <laughs> I get the feeling we did. Yeah, that was an awesome match. And the enemy even had two really good players on the other side right there. That was an immense match right here. We did have a few more donations coming in. We have... Whoa, we have many donations. Holy moly, like 12 or so. Hold on, while we're loading in, into Team Deathmatch. We have... Uh, Travis Ke uh, Keate with a $2 super chat. Ha run all Vortex and Hydra weapons in Team Deathmatch. <laughs> yeah, that's the best, man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Christian Madradial, uh, Madridal, again. Hey, man, $20! Boom! Thank you so much, Christian. I'm so appreciative, man. You again. It's always you with the 20 -year dollars, man. N uh, Naliam Ma Maitra with 20 Indian rupees, I think. Thank you, sir. Another familiar name, Himawan Nugroho, with uh, five Schweizer Franken, Swiss francs. Uh, Manny, Ravana Storm is deadly. Perhaps you should try Storm on dashboards like Haichi and Bulgazari. That's a good idea because they ha they, these robots have the option uh, to, uh, to always get back in safety real quick, right? When they are empty, phoop, dash back in safety. Good idea. I'm going to try that. Uh, we have uh, Obey Marcelo with one dollar. Hey, thanks, that dude. We have a uh, fa uh, Phantasma Gaming. Great me, I'm in your fa I'm your fan of the PR clan. Oh man, PR clan. Greetings to the PR clan. Uh oh. Wow, I'm getting a lot of focus. The second I show myself, like I'm just showing my face. I must be really ugly. I'm just showing my face for a second. Everything like, oh, get him. Oh my god, it takes me forever just to reach him. And it's a leech robot, so I'm bummed now. I, I was hoping it's not a leech robot, but it is a leech robot, so I'm pretty much bummed now. That's why he was letting me get close to him. Because he knew... Nice, nice play. Nice play. He released my last end and then he face shifted. That's the, that's the spirit. That's how you play against a max setup. But unfortunately, I had I already I already lost the match while I was attacking. The fact that I had to come to him and had my ability already running, that fact alone uh, already made it so that I had no more chance really. 
he still has last stand. It hurts me. It's physical pain that I feel that this guy still has last stand. Yep, his last stand is still there. I still haven't won anything. He's he's full pretty much as he was before. I have played extremely weak right here in this situation. Okay, he's coming now. I'm gonna try and lock him. Nope, he's got fa okay. He he beats me every time. He beats me every time because he's got the the anti control, and the anti control makes the the Cerberus robot worthless. He's beating the crap out of me right now with his one leech robot because it's perfectly equipped to deal with me here. So now he's he's uh, suppressed. Face shifting. And then after the face shift, he comes with another leech ability. Nice play. So um, this guy, I, I, if I, I should have had to play a completely different here. He is always the defender. You notice that? He always defends the spot. He lets me walk across the open terrain using my abilities while getting to him. And then I am in front of him, but my ability is already gone. If you are the aggressor, you're really bad against this player. He is one of those absolute pros who really makes use of the ability to the absolute maximum. He has made zero mistakes. Gah, big heads off to you, man. He has made zero mistakes from the beginning till now. Every single action he's done was complete perfection from the end, from the beginning till the end. Nice job, sir. All right, but I wanted to get him. It took me three robots to get this one guy destroyed because I'm the aggressor and walking through the open terrain, but I got him in the end. All right, and now let's reverse this. I'm now going to be defensive. Because I've just given the enemy team three deaths. Uh, and that was uh, completely worthless, pretty much. But it's team deathmatch, you know? He is playing it right. I'm not playing right when I'm coming like this. When I'm actively engaging and attacking enemies in, in this situation. He's doing it better. He's basically just retreating back in cover. And playing extremely careful. He just lost his ability. And he knows I'm... Look! He knows I'm coming for him. No chance. Three people all ready for me. I wanted to get him, but forget it. He's being defended by all the four other people. All right, nice job. If I had known he is such a skillful player, I would have played completely different. He's literally played without the slightest mistake. Now he's stealthing, uh, stealth flying. Immediately getting to me. Okay. And now he's flying back behind other all other teammates. Do you notice that? He knows exactly I want him. <laughs> he knows it exactly. Okay. Then ignore- I'm gonna ignore him now because it's very obvious that he's playing in a way that ignores everyone but me. And as soon as I try to get him, he's gonna come and, uh, and prevent it, basically. Just getting back in safety. I mean, he's getting the biggest shout-out anyone has ever received on this channel, I think. I think it's ne I've never appraised anyone playing like that, like, so so well as he did here. Uh, so, what he does is really paying off for him right now. That much of a shout-out no one has ever gotten on this channel. Ga288, you're a master of your job, sir. I draw my hat before you. And if I had only known... I would have engaged you completely different and not walked into every single trap every single time. It's 11 versus 11 still, so we are still okay. Ah, okay, that was bad. Yep, that cost me my uh, last stand here, which I needed. Let's see if we can fight something on the other side here. Dude, I'm just showing up here for a split second, and he's already ready for me. I can't get anywhere without this guy getting me every time. So, Spectre time. What is this? It's a Mercury, isn't it? Yep, it's a Mercury. No, it's a... it's an, uh, a, uh... What's it called here? Inquisitor. The crazy thing is, not only is he playing what he has well, he's also uh, making use of every... Um, 
what's it called, of, of his teammates, right? I think I expect he is probably someone who plays team deathmatch a lot uh, because he knows how to utilize his teammates to a very, very effective um, end. 15 versus 16 at this point. You see he's going to fly back again, not giving me an opportunity to come for him. I can do a short time of damage against this Titan here. He's reloading his weapons, it seems. Please don't push me up. I need to go down and cover. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's, it's dangerous here because if I walk up and this Titan decides to push up there, then I can't really do anything. Okay, he's done. He's coming in again. And you know what he's going to do. You know where he's going to fly. He's acting like this is his only robot. Look at this. It's so obvious that you're watching the stream, sir. It's so obvious that you have chosen me as your target, man. But at the same time, I wonder how many robots he's got left, right? Boom, there goes my last stand. Again, a big success for him. He took my last stand down. And uh, even if I use my stealth, my stealth doesn't really help me here in this situation. He's gonna come closer and try and get me with his explosion radius. Uh, this enemy team is pretty good. They're doing a great job there. Haha, <laughs> he got me with the explosion. Nice job, man. Okay, so last robot here, Titan time. And uh, now, now he has to be careful because now I can take him down if he ever lands somewhere, right? I have so far, and that's that's my problem too. He's playing a long range setup, and I'm always playing a short range setup here. Um, and and that with the shotguns, I couldn't fight him at long range. So that's um. And did you see that? I told you he's gonna have to be careful now. You notice what he does? He's gonna fly all the way back to his base. Got him though with this hit. That's the only time in like a hundred hours that I've actually done damage to him. Uh, because he's been so careful and always retreating back. 40 seconds left on the clock. We have to make a couple of really good fast kills now to be able to win this match. 30 seconds. Got one guy. I'm. Cl I think I'm being suppressed now. Thirteen seconds. He's going to be able to fly. Yeah, we we won't be able to win this because I can't target anyone down there. Look, the targeting system didn't me didn't allow me to, to target anyone. We got him in the end, but I think it was too late. Yep. All right, so that was a close match. It was literally five seconds more, and we would have won the match. But um, yeah. Good job, Ga. That was a great playstyle you had. Um, and if I had known you have that level of skill, then I would not have brainlessly rushed you every time. Because obviously, if you had tried to rush me three times like that, you would have been beaten uh, like that. Because it's just the guy who comes, the guy who has to activate his ability first, is the guy who's going to lose. But it's great to have someone in the, in the opposition, in the other team, who knows what he's doing. So, congrats, man. So, uh, when Pixai calls, what was that? We have more donations here. Um, when Pix came with the godlike, they were referring to Mirox. Dominique says. <laughs> they were referring to Mirox when they used the godlike. Oh god. He's on the beacon, he's trying to get that beacon. And since I have unlimited firepower, I don't really have to worry about uh, his shield here. Okay, we took the beacon. I'm going to not take that uh, that ability out. I'm gonna hit him without the ability. Who knows if I need the ability later, right? 
Um, so Dominique, Dominique with a ten dollar super chat, man. Thanks, dude. Uh, when they when they came out with a god, like they were referring to Mirox. That's funny. Or as long as I'm underneath him, he's gonna ha gonna have a hard time. Um, oh, he actually stops firing. That's cool. Okay, we got him down to last stand here. But now there's a, a flying Aochun coming in. That I have to be very careful about. Alright. How are you still alive? I was leeching at you with five people fighting me. I had so many enemies shooting me at the same time. How did you not lose your uh, your robot there? I really have to wonder, man. I, I think he's also leeching. But now he's done. Ah! Okay. We kept the beacon. That's the most important thing. And uh, there's more donations that I have to read. Adam Rem Remkison, it's me. You'll probably remember me from my name, Adam Rem Remkison. Uh, no, I must. I'm sorry. I must admit, I'm not recognizing the name right now. So this guy is now suppressed. Ah, his leech ability is over. That's good to know. And I don't know why he's not shooting me. That's good for me. So he's suppressed and can't really do much damage. Okay, got him suppressed and locked. So let's go for that Fenrir. That Fenrir is a massive tank. So he's now suppressed and locked. Try to make him lose his lock on, but he really knows how to keep the aiming up. Man, good job, man. Ah, he's got anti-control. See that? Against anti-control people, uh, this, this robot doesn't work so well. So this time he should be locked. Hä? Hey, he's not locked and not suppressed. Ah, physical shield. That's right. I forgot about the physical shield. After his physical shoot, hopefully I'll be able to, to suppress him. Yeah, now he's suppressed. <laughs> he was trying to jump. The Mercury was trying to jump. Did you see that? And he kind of jumped, but he, he landed against the wall. <laughs> uh, but I got killed anyways from behind now. The Mercury ju tried to jump, but ended up jumping against the wall. Uh, against his buddy and he couldn't get f in front of him. That was cool. So, we have uh, uh, Roberto Krebos with a $2 super chat. Man, thank you, Roberto. And uh, we have Seno Osama. Even nerf Bulgazaris is all. Huh? Even nerfed Bulgazari all. Okay. Let's try and get him here locked, maybe. Uh, I couldn't get him locked. Unfortunately, let's retreat. We're in the middle of the open and we have no uh, ability running anymore. This guy just dropped his resistance. I want to hit him while he does that. Just to fire empty my weapons real quick. We are in the lead currently when it comes to beacon control. Is that the same guy from before? I think it is, right? Come on, man. Oh, see, and this is where the problem is. 
previously you were able to really pack a punch against these guys with these shotguns and now you're standing there bam wait 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 bam wait 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 what is this guy is he flying no he's walking okay Ooh, come on Uh, the dub, we have GL, uh, no, J, G, J, L, T, donated $5, thank you, sir. And we have Travis, uh, Keata again with a $2. I was saying you should try in a video, ah, in a video, yeah, we could do it in a video, for sure. Hi, man. Let me just hide right here from your weapons and regenerate those shotguns. He's not coming closer. I was hoping he would come closer to us. So now he activated his shield. That was not Trajan. I have to say, man, that shield activation was not worth it. Now I can take you out with e without even using my ability, right? I don't think that was supposed to happen here. That, that I can kill you without the use of my ability. Normally, if you play this thing right, at least I will have to use my ability to fight you. But in this case, you sacrificed that shield too early, and you didn't really gain much from it. Okay. <laughs> He's locked again. He's like, what? We're losing the match, by the way, but I don't care. I just want to fire a little bit and test the shotguns here. I'm not really uh, right now in the mood of running after beacons. We could be running for beacons and trying our hardest to, you know, turn this match around. But I just want to shoot a bit. And, and enjoy my short-range combat against this guy. Uh, just saying, you just lost one of your side weapons. So the benefit you get currently from flying does not outweigh the increased damage that I'm doing against you. Oh man, there's a lot of titans. There's many titans. And I'm alone in this match, apparently. I still have three robots, but the match is over and I'm alone. Wow. Okay. Yep, he also just activated his ability. In this case, you see, I would get him killed easily, no problem. But I don't have the time for it to fight him in this one-on-one. -on -one. Instead, I'm just gonna attack now. The match is over anyways. But he just activated his ability and that was his mistake. He would now lose this match and had no chance because he activated his ability too early. And this is, this is exactly why I lost in the previous match so often against the other guy. Because because I was coming and attacking actively, I had to use my ability um, earlier uh, than he did. And he could always just bait the ability and then walk back into safety. And if I hadn't used my ability, I would have collected a whole bunch of damage already in advance. So, not really a situation you can win at this point. You have to kind of just be patient. Don't come. A player like that, you don't attack him and get actively. You must... Uh, do it tactically and carefully. This is also the same reason why when I play in his shoes or in his situation, very often, when I bait people's abilities, they also have no chance. See, again, this guy, he's losing his robot right there. He's not even using his shield. Now he is, okay. That's a bit late though, sir. Okay. How long is that flight still going, dude? Okay. I think he's reloading. No, he's not reloading. But it, there was a reloading sound. Something made a sound as if he was reloading there. That was weird. Okay. Ah. Now we have the stealth. Got him anyways. I'm slowed down. See, we need to attack this guy immediately now because he's got... He had his ability used a second ago. Right now he does not have the ability. There it is. That thing is still working, man. Okay. Nice job, he uh, he bailed out of it. 
But now I'm gonna take a lot of damage here from him. I'm gonna lose my last stand here. <laughs> I'm jumping inside his shield here. <laughs> Look, I'm behind this guy now. I'm waiting for my chance to steal that kill. There it is. And now I have the resistant ability back. And that's just one little phantom that I'm running here. One single phantom. Seven kills already. Despite the outdated... Uh, despite the nerfed shotgun. So, it's still really working well, man. Ah, I couldn't bait his ability here, so I'm done now. Now I'm really screwed. <laughs> I was hoping he could... Uh, I would bait his ability. Let's use the Titan so early. That's ridiculous. Having the Titan that early in the match? That's ridiculous, man. Two kills already. It took a massive hit. Three kills already. Jesus. I just started uh, this Titan and I'm already having three kills. Make that four. Boom. And now we can hammer at that guy who already used his ability. Down to last stand, whoever this is. Probably a leech. Nope. So how many kills? Jesus Christ, is this insane? This guy is so mad at me, he's running past one titan to just come and visit the next, which is me. Oh my god. Having the titan so early is really fun. This is so crazy. Boom, there you go. I didn't even have to use my healing yet. <laughs> oh man. Ah, the second rocket didn't hit. So I'm even collecting all the damage from the Aochon and I don't really care. This is so crazy, man. Now he's gonna stealth- uh, n not stealth jump, he's gonna suppress jump. I'm reloading so I may as well just drop. Right? And take less damage because I can't fire with the additional weapons anyways. Low geared opponents, enemies say. Nah, that's actually not even the case. It's not even that they are just low geared. This is just this Titan is so ridiculous. This guy won't be able to hit me here. I'm waiting with one rocket, keeping one rocket in so I can kill him. Boom. Because against this splash, this alpha damage, he can't do anything. Look, and now I can shoot over the cover while he can't even hit me here. I'm healing up all, to all together. And he notices that there is no dealing damage to me here. I'm standing behind cover. Now he's landing and uh, I have gathered enough, uh, you know, power and advantage against him here that I can take him on. Then we have the Arthur Titan where my machine guns are worthless, but the rockets are not. So I may as well just use the rockets here and splash next to him. That's how we do this here. Boom, boom. And then just showing the weapons. And the, the Arthur shield does not work at all against this. And in this case, he's pushing. He's playing aggressively. He's playing the same way I played before against the other player. Um, one Phantom and one Titan is all we have used here. And the, the Phantom is still one of the most powerful robots in the game. Even with the shotguns, I must say. And the Titan is just ridiculous with these, uh, with these boosters and bonuses. Um, bup, bup, bup. play with uh, uh, Angar, Angar, old school and new weapons, fan, fan, Phantasma Gaming. We did have a thing last week where people said, where somebody sent a donation and said, hey, how about trying a match or a live stream 
or a video, it depends, with no face shift and no last stand. And I was like, hey, that's a good idea, let's do that maybe next time or so. Uh, but then the, f the shotgun test came. I needed to test the shotguns here. And in order to test them the same condition as we always had it, I thought it's good to, ha to not change any other vari uh, variables. To leave all other variables as we had them and, and just put shotguns on the robots and see how they do today, you know? If I had now removed the last stand and phase shift from all robots, then it wouldn't have been a fair test compared to the previous weapons anymore. So maybe we do this next time or in a video separately somewhere. Okay, we have here a a thing. Oh my god, look at this. Look at that. That was a full thing. That was a full uh, our chun right there. Taken out in a couple of split seconds. At 400 meters range. How is this not worse than the shotguns before? The shotguns didn't do that much damage at that short, at that range so fast. Look at that. We're, he's got two heavy weapons, and I'm only using uh, light weapons here. A uh, medium weapon, sorry. I'm using medium weapons, and I'm out brawling his, uh, his heavy weapons. Okay, he's now going to come. No, he's not, because he somehow messed up his, his flight. Oh my god, dude. Pixonic, really? Come on. Is that really your- are you serious with this? Don't you think this is a bit overkill when it comes to damage at range? When a leech robot doesn't even have to use his leech ability, then something is wrong. Okay, he's leeching. I'm gonna walk away from this. Uh-oh. Haha, I face shifted right at the right time there. Now I'm walking out of his explosion radius. Good. Phew! That could have gone wrong. Here, you out brawl everything with this. You out brawl everything with this. Especially shotguns now with their reduced damage output. Oh my lord, that was a full Ares. Yeah, it may not have been a Mark 212 Ares, but... Dude. Yeah, I did, um... Well, you asked for, by, uh, asked for it by complaining about the shotguns. Okay, hold on. I did complain about the shotguns, but what was I complaining about? That they have so much range. I was complaining about the fact that they have 500 meters range, and that, that this way, everyone is using it, and there is no alternative to them. That's what I was complaining about, you know? I wasn't complaining that the weapon is, uh, is uh, in general, way too good in every regard. If they had simply reduced the range, you know, then it would have been a fair weapon. F range reduced and a bit more spread or something, and the weapon would have been really good. Wow, he activated his stealth fast. Did you see that? <laughs> he tried to bounce on top of him. Oh, man. Of course, these weapons are maxed and everything, but man, that doesn't mean that the enemies have to die at four or five hundred meters in a few seconds. In two seconds or so. Hi! Boop. Scrap the robot immediately here. They have gotten our beacon there. This is annoying to me because if I if they hadn't gotten this beacon, I could have killed them all in their spawn. It's four maxed atomizers. Sure, they will destroy. Farbotti is saying, "Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it's maxed atomizers and it's four of them, and sure they do some damage. And I'm okay with them doing damage. Don't get me wrong. But the damage they do at that range, and then the damage they do at the short range." They're in, in, in both combinations, they exceed other weapons by far. And this is always what something that, that will result in, uh, in basically nothing but this weapon category C. That's what I'm afraid of, right? I'm not, you know, if the weapon is good at short range, then it's good at short range and that's okay. It's only good at long range, um, but can't really fight very well in, against a brawler, then it's also good. But as soon as a weapon takes uh, the job of a brawler, 
and and a sniper and does it very well this is when it gets problematic Yeah, I should be now scrapping my robot and jumping onto the other beacon, maybe, but I don't want to. We've won this match anyways. One more shot. There you go. And there it is. Over. <clears throat> I, I, I'm always... I'm all, all I'm saying is that um, weapons should always have a downside, right? They should have their pros and their cons. Always. When a weapon has only pros and no cons anymore, you'll see it. Lots of it. Everywhere. And you'll and, and the, the sad thing is you'll start to see everything else less often. Because, you know, everybody now runs the most powerful thing, and the other things they're, you know, going down and down and further and further. And eventually you have the battlefield, we as we had it before, only shock trains, and then only shotguns. And then only Atomizer or Quarker <laughs> or uh, whatever the other names are. Uh, what's the other? Nucleon. Quarker, Atomizer, Nucleon. That's what I'm saying, right? The downside. I'm missing the downside of this weapon. What's the downside? Pixonic, show me and explain to me what's the downside of this weapon. Any weapon needs to have one. And I just can't see this one here. Wow, how long does this guy's... Oh, he's got this legendary pilot. See, he killed the entire thing because of the legendary pilot. <laughs> I could get the kill for free because I made him face shift. Because of the face shift, he couldn't get the kill. Did you see that, man? That was hilarious. He would have tried to get that kill, but he couldn't. Look, he's pretty much down to his last stand already. There it is. Last stand already activated. Okay, I can't finish him off, unfortunately. He's already doing the the dash, the mad dash once. Now he's gonna do it twice. But too late, I already have him down to last stand. And then, boom. Nice job. Nice job staying behind that cover to remain your last stand. Oh man, really? That sucks because now I'm gonna lose that uh, that kill probably. No, I'm gonna get it. Okay, well that was lucky. Alright. So, Titan time. No, let's use the Atomizer here because it's more of a long range map. And this clearly is better than any other shotgun at long range. I should not have engaged him openly like that because it was clear that he was going to use his uh, his his stealth. Hey, <laughs> what? Somehow he can't stop stop himself. He keeps attacking me the whole time. Wow, this 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 guy is down to low level immediately. No low HP, I mean. Okay, I got this one kill. I didn't deserve it, but I took it anyways. Why are you quantum radaring, dude? I'm not going to quantum radar. Uh, fly, stealth jump, I promise. Come on, last end. Uh oh. Now that's a problem. Okay, that's a Spectre. 
who jumped there with his ability with his ability charge and I just killed him at ultra long reach ridiculous range that I killed him at see a shotgun wouldn't have killed him any slower now oh wait wow he suppressed he locked me down he, he used lockdown ammo I think Okay, he's leeching me. Too late. You reacted too slow there, sir. But now I'm gonna die here. No, I, I had my last stand up in the last possible second. It was, I guess I'm done now, huh? Whoa, huh? His, his vortex didn't make it. Did you see that? The vortex didn't land far enough. I'm constantly trying to uh, let the weapon cool down for a second. Oh, I love getting stuck like this on corners and suffering two, three, th massive amounts of damage for no reason because of it. Someone else got this kill. Wow, okay. Okay, they're fighting each other there. I can corner shoot this guy a little bit. Who's going to die here first? This guy was, okay. Got him before he could stealth jump. Ooh, this is gonna be close. He's coming closer to us now. Uh, it's actually it's not that that close because we have an Aries here to our left, right. Sorry. I'm safe right here for the moment. Getting the Aries and squishing myself in this corner, and then stealing that thing too. Okay, let's see if we can survive this. Ah, he knew. He knew my leech ability was gone. <laughs> I was trying to fool him into thinking that my leech ability still lasts for a long time. But he didn't he didn't get fooled. Okay, he's got the uh, the robot we need to be careful about. This is quite a bit of damage considering we just fired for a few seconds with weapons that do tremendous amount of damage at sh short range. Excuse me. Meanwhile, uh, the the Aochun is waiting for his chance to take down this this guy immediately. Boom! There you go, dude. And now I'm staying out of his short range circle, and with a unlimited amount of ammo, I don't have to worry about having enough firepower to kill the Titan. You know. Uh, da, da, da. Come on, pigs. Make it a little bit less damage at range. Okay, Le leave it as it is at short range, but at long range, make it a bit weaker. Um, make it lose its accuracy faster. Make it take and 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 or or deal less damage in general or both. 
right? At range, it needs to be less effective at range. That is my problem with it. If it has, if it would be less effective at range, then it would be perfect and it would be really okay. Um, right now, it's better than Pulsar, for example. And Pulsar is only a sniper, right? And it's better at sniping than Pulsar is, except that it doesn't have 600 meters range. But it's also better than uh, than than Scourge. It's better than Scourge as well, where where Scourge as has a you know, but it's also kind of a hybrid, but at least it has a lock on time. I don't think he's going to be very interested in fighting me, huh? Okay. Uh, time to read the stream chat then. Uh, we have Down Bass. Uh, hey Manny, what do you think about Corona? Stay safe, bro. Uh, Corona in general. You mean you mean the virus or you, or the weapon shotgun? What are we talking about here, sir? I'm just going to s assume you mean the virus because you say stay safe afterwards. So I'm just going to assume you uh, you're you're talking about a health thing, health issue, and which that would be the coronavirus. What am I thinking about it? Well, I find it very highly dangerous. I'm very worried about it, and I think we've only seen the beginning of it. I've seen we've only I think we've only seen the 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 the, the tip of the iceberg. It's going to be a getting a lot worse because we don't know if once you had it. You might, you might be able to get it again, right? Who tells you that you just can't get it multiple times and this way the virus will be st will stick with us for quite some time. So, uh, it's a problem. And of course, it's also a mortal, mortal virus for people who have weaker immune systems. So, it's very dangerous. And um, I hope we get, we, get, we get a solution for this as fast as possible. No, wait, not all again, free for all. I wanna, let, let's do team deathmatch. So yeah, stay safe too, my friend. Stay, you guys all stay safe. Um, one thing, in case that's one thing that I was considering. In case you're making a diet, right? In case you make a diet where you he only eat half of what you normally eat or something because you need to get slim or whatever, maybe this isn't the best time. Just saying, ladies and gentlemen. What if? Because eating half of what you normally eat puts strain on your body and makes your immune system weaker. And I think you should avoid anything that makes your immune system weaker at this point, right? So maybe it's a good time to to hold off on the diet for now. <laughs> Some people might actually like to hear that. That's a shock train, isn't it? I think it was a shock train, or was it a pulsar? I'm not sure. Ah, okay. He brought up that shield. Ow, he actually hit me. I, it is Shock Train. I was right. It's Shock Train. I was like, mm, that looks like Shock Train, but I'm not quite sure. Let's get this sniper out of the way here. I'm worried about that Shock Train, dude. Because this guy could jump up any moment and basically hit me from a direction where I would not expect that. Is that the guy? No, that's Pulsar. So they have a Pulsar and a Shock Tray Inspector. Oh man, I'm locked now. Come on, that lockdown was really bad. Who locked me? That, ah, I guess. Oh man, that timing! That timing with the Vortex hit! Oh my lord! That timing whooped me so hard! What a horrible timing for the Vortex to hit me! And another, another one! Another great timing for another Vortex shot! I'm just running in now. I got another guy killed. The guy with the Vortex Spectre. And I just ran in and I just fought them all at the same time, man. And then now the Titan is ready. Jesus, what the heck? I'm running one robot, getting a couple of kills and the Titan is already ready. Jesus. Okay. So you want some? You can have some, man. You can have some, don't worry, I'm gonna get it to you. Titans Boom! Fire. There goes your Titan, sir. Boom! Wowzers.
I'm getting hit by another Vortex Spectre. Because it's Team Deathmatch and people love running Vortex Spectre and Team Deathmatch. The enemy team is fighting me so hard right now. So now we have a short range battle uh, between two titans, but of course this one is probably not leveled as far. The, the vortex is still there! Are you kidding me? I can't get rid of this vortex, dude! Dude, this guy just can't die! He just won't die. This guy just won't die. I want nothing but him now. I'm, I don't care about anyone else. This is what Vortex does with you. You don't care about anything else anymore. I'm not stopping until this guy is dead. Jesus, man. I thought I killed him like a hundred times already and it turns out I couldn't get rid of him. And again, we're still getting hit by everyone here. How did I not get him with the rockets? Did you see that? The rockets didn't make it. Oh, and I'm flying up right now. In a moment where uh, the other guy has just launched his Ares attack. And bye bye, dude. Now you... And then you. No, I'm dead now. Wow. I've, I've literally flown all the way in here and I attracted the entire enemy team. I wonder what my team has done in the meantime. Because every enemy was busy fighting me, right? So I wonder how much success my, may my team have had in the middle in the meantime. Like your playstyle, Manny. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Well, in this case, the Titan isn't really good playstyle. There's just no losing with this thing. It's just too powerful. So, um, yeah. Okay, we have an enemy in front of us, a Titan. And we have a Spectre landing right next to us soon. And he won't ever get through that shield, but of course, the Titan is going to get through the shield. And he's already put all the, all the firepower into me that he had. Despite his weapon suppression, he still did tremendous amounts of damage. No chance, man. No chance. To walk into the enemy base is not only absolute stupid, it's also completely worthless, man. You walk in and then you get killed. That's how it is. Okay, so he just used his ability. We have a good 12 seconds or so before he gets it again. Last stand ticking, ability is back, but too late. Now we have another enemy right next to us. I'm locked! Who locked me down? It can't be a titan, who locked me down? In such a crucial moment, where I need my firepower as best as I can. Again locked. I've just been free from lockdown and I'm immediately relocked. That's crazy. All right, we're being hunted by an Haichi, I think. Oh my god, am I slow? I'm running with maximum walking speed. Up to even with the built-in, uh, with the, with the speed increase. Jesus Christ, this thing is a max level Haichi, huh? Titan Slayer. 
Yeah, that was my kill. That's right. I totally deserve that. This guy also fighting me? Look, they're all coming from all directions. They're all coming for me. Why? Let's fly underneath him where he loses his lock on. For a second. Okay. Ha! <laughs> he came out for just that. He came out just to get that kill, man. You really needed that, huh? Alright, let's keep reading. Uh, give infinite weapons and overheat break limit. Give infinite weapons and overheat break limit. Well, then it wouldn't make sense that you have unlimited ammo to begin with if it breaks your weapon, right? Jeremy? Jeremy Dallas? Uh, the downside is we can't all get this weapon, Zero, Zeno Sama says. <laughs> that's good. That's a nice one, man. We can't all get this weapon. That's the downside. It has no downside, the weapon itself, but uh, yeah, those who have it, no downside for you. That's a fun one. Hey, buddy. Art, no, Arbutsovi. Arbutsovi. Probably butchered your name. Sorry, man. Uh, but let's, uh... Let's try and do a jump on the enemy. Come in. Come on. Follow me, man. Come. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, he's face shifting. Boom. Yeah, come on. Come with me, man. We're gonna rock it. We're gonna rock the boat. 15 seconds left on the clock. And this guy is locked now. And that is his death's. It's not as yet now it's his death sentence. That's right. <laughs> and it's his death. Wait, where did you go? Ah, there. Nice. Uh, then we have Farboti again. Lancelot will have you atomizer leech all day. Will have your atomizer. A uh, Lancelot will be dangerous with the atomizer against atomizer. That's true. Because the physical shield from the Lancelot will protect you forever. Uh, from from atomizer because of the spread, right? Okay, back into Beacon Rush. Oh, papa. And then we have uh, Ionut Tudor. Like your playstyle, Manny. Oh, I've already read that. Thank you, dude. Again. So, we're running in with the Spectre first, right? Let's, um, maybe we can stop the enemy from getting to our. Nah, I don't think we are fast enough. Look, that's another one. Uh, the Spectre used to be very fast, it used to be as fast as the Phantom in front of us. Now it's really slow, and most other robots can walk away from it. Let's make him use his ability immediately, there it is. Not a good time to cross that, sir. Oh, he they're, they're bypassing this guy's shield. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm face shifting again, even though it makes no sense. The Ares has his shield back. That's why he's coming. Yeah, we're... Uh, that Spectre is really a weak thing now. I pushed him back. He wanted to capture this beacon, but I pushed him back. I'm not doing any damage at all, dude, with these two things. Alright, so, um... Seems like we're getting absolutely flattened here, dude. Oh, I'm suppressed. The invader jump was perfect. That was a very nice, nice invader jump there, dude. That was a really good one. Come on, someone else, please get onto that beacon now. I can't do it on my own, dude. I can't be on that beacon the whole time. I have to stay on the beacon. If I don't, they are capturing it. No one else will get onto the beacon. No one else will care for it. No one cares. The only one who gets on the beacon the whole time and gets himself into a four-on-one. 
Will you ever lose that last stand too? Yep. See, I'm literally I'm literally the only one who walks on that. Well, we've lost this match. I can't win against five people on my own. It's just not possible. So sorry team, but Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for uh huh. Triple kill, and now they can all spawn here. And make that position worthless. Still the- still the only one! Still! Still the only one on the beacon, it's unbelievable. For such a long time, I don't get any support whatsoever on the beacon. I can do whatever I want, there's, there's just no one cares for it. They took- uh, thankfully they took another beacon at least. But man, they did not care one bit about the other beacons. He's now face shifting, but too late. Got that beacon, and now I'm attacking this again. But I will probably, again, not succeed. Because they will have people to be able to deal with it. Yeah, now we have people coming here, but it's too late. The, be the, the match is already lost. It took them too long to, re to, to try to help me out here on the beacon. Is that an Arthur? Why is it standing there? There was an Arthur just standing there, like a, like a statue. So yeah, um... That was, uh, that was very, very unfortunate. Uh, I even have a squad in my team, and, um, yeah. I needed someone to- it was our base beacon. You cannot lose that beacon. That beacon means you spawn in the corner of your base. You can't even spawn and attack. You have to walk around that corner first. And, uh, that is a no-go. Losing this beacon is GG. And that's what we had right here. We had GG after two minutes, because I was alone on that beacon. Damn it. Next giveaway. Well, not sure when that will happen. Maybe within the next week or weeks. Uh, Andy Hernandez almost missed the stream. Glad I made it. Yeah, I'm glad too. Hey, welcome back, Andy. And thanks. Uh, da -da -da. We're running in. We're getting the. We're the first on that beacon now. how fast this thing is. In Back in the old days in War Robots, not even the Stalker would be that fast. No robot in the game would be that fast. They made sure that no robot has this much speed. Okay, he's coming in immediately with the leech ability. And I'm pushing him away, nice. But he is, I think he is in the beacon circle. Uh, he is now leeching, of course, and I'm locked. I took him with me though, the other dude. Of course it was a leech, right? Out of all the possible robots, this guy could have had the, the other second dude that, inter that engaged me. Of all the possible robots, it had to have been a leech with ability ready, yeah. Again, two leeches are running out. He's leeching someone. He's locked, he's not going anywhere. He just had his leech ability too. He's locked up there. Nice, we got him. I think we have this guy under control. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm running back in safety real fast. The beacon is now white. They want to spawn here, they have to spawn. Oh no, it's blue now, nice. He's locked and suppressed. 
And he's taking massive damage because of the lockdown. What a brawl! What an action brawl this is! What the heck are we looking at here? Man, this is insane. Lockdown and suppressed. He leeches now, but his uh, his robot is already in suppression in in uh, thing mode. Ah, match is already over. Wow, that's fast. Cool. We've done uh, an okay amount of damage, but uh, it wasn't. We are. We didn't even reach second place this time. But we got a, a few important beacons, so. Uh, that's also worth something, right? Love your channel, Packing Devil Jr. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. I like the Nightingale. We Yuang Yan says. Uh, I like the Nightingale too, but um, it's a very special robot, right? It has to be played in a very different style. Many, what do you think about having unique weapons for certain robots? Uh, don't we already have that? We have the built-in weapons on the Ares. We have the built-in weapon on the Cerberus, right? We do have unique wo robot weapons already. Or are you having something completely different on, in mind? Alright, it's Team Deathmatch. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. I'm going to start and put the teleportation point right there. So that I have the option to get back into safety. I took zero damage from those Vortex. Okay, now we have... An Ao Guang here. The Ao Guang will land somewhere sometime soon. Oh man. Yep, that's a problem. Let's go for the Ao Guang first. Because he's uh he's the one without the resistance. I'm getting grilled by three guys. Ah I got no chance, man. Ah! Now the Ao Guang will start his flight in a second. <laughs> I'm still alive though. <laughs> I was drilled by four. Oh, there's the fifth guy. And the sixth guy. Now we officially had all six enemies attacking us at the same time. Okay, he lost his, uh, his flight. And I'm hoping, I'm trying to make use of that. The other, the other uh, Aochun has also lost his flight ability. This guy. The Hydra dude right around the corner, he's shooting me. Ah, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so bummed. I mean, <laughs> man, no chance. I'm running in and I'm battling the entire enemy team on my own, dude. That is funny. Bulgazari is still in my heart, Sino Sama says. Oh yeah, the Bulgazari is still a beast. I mean, there was a time when I hated it because it was uh, with a shock train specter. It was just indestructible. It was indefeatable. And then there was even a time when the physical shield from it was literally indestructible. You couldn't beat the physical shield. It was completely indestructible. I'm not kidding. There was a time when that was the case. I locked him. Now I'm running inside his shield. Unfortunately, my last stand is released. And now I'm probably going to die. Yep. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> oh boy. I'm, you know, but I, I'm trying. I'm running. I'm running in. Always one on fouring. I uh, one on fouring them. Come on, destroyer. It's the problem when you always one on four the enemy. Well, you're always get out out damaged hard. The uh, the Leo up there is taking some damage now. Okay, he's bringing up that shield. Come on, Leo. Okay, there he goes. I'm being leeched at from the other side. Wow! Last stand gone! How? How did I lose my last stand so fast? Oh, double redeemer. I think that's what hit me. Double redeemer hit me. That's what. I was like, how did I just lose 30, 40% HP in one hit? 
Boom! Now I know the Redeemer took me down. Man, the Boom Blaster. But now we have the Titan. And you know what? It's enough with that Aoguang. I have that exact same Aoguang, and this guy is an absolute master of what he has been doing. Did you see how much he was doing with this one Aoguang? Did you see that? I can tell you, I have that Aoguang myself. It's a broken piece of crap. And this guy just mastered it like a champ. Awesome. Awesome to see someone do a great job with this thing. Really, I'm, I'm, I, mean, I mean that. It's awesome to see him do so well with that Aoguang. How are you still alive? I can't be suppressed two times in a row. Within five seconds or so. Oh boy. Again, we're having the entire enemy team on us. But this time we're running a titan that can handle a bit of firepower. Boom! Wow, the skill level, dude. That that level of skill. He just activated that weapon in that split second. That stealth, I mean. In the split second that I fired before I fired my shield. Can't believe we're still kicking. Okay, while falling. Okay, and there you go. That Titan is always uh, the answer to enemies, right? A resistant phantom. has no chance. Well, I have to reload my weapon, so again, I may as well just land at that moment. Let, let someone else deal with him. Or maybe I do it myself. <laughs> if he's still there, why not? Boom. He's gonna land somewhere. There it is. Problem is I have to use this shot for him, but now we have the leech robot here. It's so sick, this thing. He's yeah, oh, he's trying so hard to stay out of this 500 meter range arc. Boom, boom. And I'm flying her higher and higher from where I can send these bombs over cover where he can hit, cannot hit me. Look. Yep, the rockets are hitting. And his, 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 air, his Arthur is going down without being able to do anything here because he can't hit me. I'm behind cover. Okay, excuse me. <clears throat> so, my nose was itching. <laughs> Manny, can you ask Pix to do your skirmish? What skirmish do you mean? My old skirmish hanger from back in the days? I don't even remember what it was. Uh, I'm not even, I'm not sure what robot hanger I had back then. Uh, we have more donations. Uh, we have Christian Madriada with again with a ten dollar man. You are just amazing, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Senozama also with five dollars again. Mani the master of dragon. Well, come on, man. This is um. I just want to distance distance myself from any skill related to the Titan gameplay. Yeah, you can have some quick target acquisition. You can have a good, uh, you know, hiding a well, whatever, or pick the right targets. That's that stuff maybe with a bit of a skill, but not you know 60% or 80% of what we are doing with this Titan is simply the Titan. Anyone would be able to be good at with this. It's just so crazy. Hey, 
Wow, look, that was a phantom robot. That was a phantom robot with resistance. Ow, 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 he's hitting me with tridents or something. Damn it, that was some damage, dude. I just took a whole lot of damage from this guy. I didn't expect that, but it was a Natasha and he was loaded. Alright, let's go for that, uh, leech. Oh, he slowed me down. I'm so g incredibly slow. It's insane how slow I am. Wow. Nice teleport, sir. But you if you forgot one thing, ladies and gentlemen. You forgot that I'm the longer you wait, the faster I get my ability back. And that will be your doom when I do. The moment my ability is back is the moment you guys are dead. He's going to respawn here. Is he not? Yeah, there he is. Nice! I baited his ability immediately. Oh, come on. That's just a Leo here. Uh, but he's attacking me and I have no other choice. Man, he is regenerating health like a boss. We're only having two beacons right now. I think we should probably go and try and change that. Unfortunately, when the enemy spawns right there... I can't really engage them. And this guy's coming out here too. And he wants me. Aha. Uh -huh. I noticed him. Okay. So I'm letting them all fire into me perfectly here. Because I know the damage is going on to him. Okay, when I come out of this, I can take him down and then I die. Alright, so, um, yeah. I need to catch a beacon somewhere. They're really good at defending the beacons at this point. I think he would have, he would have stealthed flown again. And he got the beacon and he's spawning in with the right robot. He's spawning in. No, I'm gonna stay on that beacon. I'm no matter what happens, I'm going to stay on that beacon. I will not give him this beacon. It's white. They cannot spawn here. And there is nothing more important than getting this beacon here and securing it. And I don't care about this little bit of splash damage that he does. That's our beacon now. And you're not gonna get it and hold it just because you spawn in uh, with that titan. So, now we are in control of three beacons. Haha! -ha. I'm trying to help over here. Alright. Wow. He's really trying hard. Wow, 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 wow! Am I suffering damage suddenly? Now I know why. There was a leech robot behind me. Uh, but that wasn't the smartest move to engage me in this open combat. Uh, because he attacked me from behind, but then I was able to just... Uh, then I looked around and I saw him. So, are you gonna be... Do you dare to come in? No, he does not. He doesn't dare to come in. So, reloading some weapons here. Maximizing the maximum firepower out of these shotguns. Are you ever going to reload, god damn it? Are you ever going to reload? Oh my god, how long are you you want to fire before you trigger a reload? This guy was firing for like 20 seconds straight. What the heck? Did you see that? Am I crazy? Am I having a different, you know, you know, do I do I witness time differently? This what is happening? That felt like like at least 20 seconds to me. It probably was only 15 or so, but even 15. Sorry, but 15 seconds of continuous firing. 
I'm gonna get you again, man. There's no escaping this thing. Bye. Every time you every time you spawn and you focus me, I'm gonna take to, uh, focus you afterwards. But now I'm probably gonna be in a bit of a trouble situation here. Yep. Locked. But he's reloading now. And I'm back in safety. Haha. <laughs> what do we have here? A Titan. Okay, I have to get away from his 100 meter range thing. Ah, he got me with it. <laughs> he got me anyways. I was trying to walk away from that range thing, but didn't work. Bunker 2000. How many times have I killed you now? Four times or so? Dude, just don't go and focus me and nothing but me. Just go for everyone. Just play the game normal. Boom. He's locked and suppressed. And now he's back in his base. I can corner shoot here. Again, locked and suppressed. The glory is firing. But of course the glory isn't really doing a lot of damage here. And guess what happens now? Yup, he's locked locked and suppressed. That's what makes the, the Cerberus so strong, is that you can constantly do this. All the time, constantly you can lock and suppress. Oh, he's leeching me. Okay, then I'm gonna suppress you and there goes your leech damage. Nope. Unfortunately not because he had um, anti-control. Gotcha. Fifth kill, huh? Oh, you know, you have still one more. And suppression. Weapons suppressed. And you know what you can always do against the Titan? You can walk underneath him. And this way, see, he lost, loses his targeting system. And you can buy yourself time and kill him again. Now, that was probably the sixth kill. Don't think he has any more, huh? Nope. All right. Ah, and he's got the problem that I've also experienced a while ago. Um, when you fly too high with a Titan, uh, you get into this spot where uh, you can no longer get down. You're walking on open terrain in the middle of the air, basically, and you can't get down anymore. My weapon didn't even fire at him. What the heck? Hold on, I need to test this. I'm not firing. I will wait for five seconds. Can you not shoot him when he's up there? Oh, yes, you can. Okay, you can. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, he's suppressed by the other guy. Nice. The Blitz robot just suppressed him. And after the suppression uh, resistance, I'm going to suppress him. Zip. Now he's suppressed and locked again. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Uh, why is the stream chat not refreshing? The last message I see was the one with the stream skirmish. Hold on. Something fishy is going on. Ah, now the stream chat was stuck for a second there. Manny, your gain song. Okay, let's do it. Last match, ladies and gentlemen, with the your gain song. Go cool off. Wanted it. You want it? You get it. Your gain. Here we go. Boom. Last match for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Dana Manzo, thanks for the two bu bucks, man. That's sweet damage right there.
<laughs> Isn't that stupidly powerful? I'm still alive, dude. Still alive, dude. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> this setup is so overpowered, man. Pixel, come on. Less damage at range, please. Please, less damage at long range. This setup does too much damage at long range. Ah, okay. I'm locked now. That's it. We're done. Okay, let's walk all the way over there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we should stay here in safety. And there goes my robot completely. I'm Groot. Nice job, dude. Didn't stand the slightest chance here. I don't need to activate the ability here. It won't make any difference. But I know what I'm gonna do. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. You're toast, sir. Oh, I couldn't respawn the new robot. Okay. Thank goodness, he just lost his thing. So, we have to get close to him before we can fire at him. We have only 500 meters range. But once we get in these 500 meters range, we will have a lot of fun. And in order to reach that range... Actually, he's already getting killed. Yep. That's it. Boom. Okay, I'm Groot. I'm doing the same thing with you that you have just done with me a second ago. That's a lot of enemies! Okay, the song is over now. He's ready for me immediately, dude. My middle machine guns are ready to, for a uh, uh, good, thank goodness. Resistance don't matter here from the Falcon. He's gonna get that shield back, isn't he? Nope. Nice. Team got him before he could get the shield back. Oh, there's the other dude. We can't kill him with this thing. Uh, yep. I can't kill him with that thing. Maybe I can splash him when he's trying to come up there. Ah, okay. Didn't make it. 
I think one of my rockets actually hit him. Ah, the other one might have made, made it too. Could be. Boom. Ah, splash against the wall to try and attempt to get him. Yep, one rocket hit him. Ro one rocket was a hit. He's probably like, hey, wait a minute, how are you hitting me? Cheater. I'm a cheater, dude. Cheating. Yep, right in the butt. <laughs> right in the butt, dude. Yep, and there you go, Mr. Groot. Bye-bye, man. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. I was able to hit him right in the butt with that huge rocket. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he felt that one. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for an amazing stream with you here. It was a pleasure to have you on board. Thanks all for the contributors. We have such a massive list of donations today. And it's awesome. It's just awesome to have you guys. Thank you so much. And stay tuned for the next video. It's It might be something very special. Right? Let's see. Okay? So, have a good one. Until next time. And Pixonic, less damage on the atomizer, please. <laughs> At long range. Bye-bye. <laughs>